photo by Joe Scarnici, Getty Images, Los Angeles Dodgers The Los Angeles Dodgers new front office is not about spending money to spend money. Instead, the Andrew Friedman-led front office is about spending smart money and making relatively low-budget moves turn into big impacts. That does not mean the team is completely avoiding spending, though. Los Angeles arguably overpaid to keep Kenley Jansen and Rich Hill following the 2016 season and even gave Justin Turner a pretty hearty contract. However, the team has avoided the likes of Giancarlo Stanton in the past and seems to be completely out on Bryce Harper and Manny Machado this winter. While those moves would put the team over the luxury tax, it appeared as if the Dodgers were going to make a big play after shipping away Matt Kemp, Jossiel Puig and Alex Wood. All three guys were on expiring deals so it was not like they restricted the team in the long term. However, that big move ended up being AJ. Pollock. With the money save not being significant, it is obvious now that the trade was not the best. Regardless, the Dodgers saved money this offseason and have just about $44 million in luxury tax space opening after 2019. Of course, there is on guarantee that the team will spend but with extensions for the young core still years away, next offseason would be the perfect time for the Dodgers' front office to strike. With that in mind, here are three potential targets that the front office might be saving for. Page 2 Use your arrows to browse photo by Dustin Bradford, Getty Images, Los Angeles Dodgers The biggest name on the free agent market next season is Nolan Arnato, who just set the record for the largest arbitration salary in MLB history. The Rockies gave Arnato what he is worth likely as a play to extend him before the year is over. We will find out in the coming months if that strategy pays off. If Arenado does indeed hit the market the Los Angeles Dodgers should be a team that interests him. Arenado is from Lake Forest, California, already having that hometown narrative built into it. As we saw with Joe Kelly this offseason, that hometown narrative can be a pretty big deal for a free agent. It also helps that the Dodgers have been the most consistently successful team over the last six years. Arnado would know that he is joining a perennial contender that would only be getting better with his presence. His splits away from Coors Field are not the best but he would be hitting in a great lineup, which would have a positive impact. There obviously is the question of what the team would do with Justin Turner. Turner is a natural second baseman and came up as one. With there likely being a hole at second, the Dodgers could easily get away with playing Turner there for one year before calling up prospect Gavin Lux. Next, another hometown player use your arrows to browse.